Oh my god. Die. No, don't, don't. <laughs> you guys look gay now. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to Chinstrap Jazz. <laughs> because he just butts in his face. <laughs> Ow, my fucking ankle. Uh oh. See, Billy, you're natural at this, man. You got it. You know how how it's it's panning out. I just attack like a like a man who who's uh, you know man on the edge. So you're, yeah, here's like our first mini boss character. A counter slash can be performed immediately after deflecting an attack. This allows you to deal posture damage without giving the enemy time to recover. So I, so I'll I'll okay, kind of lay down I'll lay down the the basics for you too is that you can. It's, some of these mini boss characters, like their posture, will kind of come back a little bit quicker than you can deal it out. So what ends up happening? See, it's already his is already going down. So yeah. if you hold hold guard, it'll make your your posture um, decrease, or like the posture like regain quicker if you hold down the guard button. Okay. <clears throat> so that's kind of the trade off. Obviously, you have to. Uh, you can see is how far in the upper left. So you need to duff blow him twice before he's dead. So he's still alive right now. Yeah. Somehow, for the opponents to require multiple death blows to be killed, the number of rough was required in killing enemies shown by the red circular. Okay. Alright, cool. But I was just going to say, I might let you defeat this guy too before I say anything, but um, basically, the lower the health is, the more damage you can do to the posture while it not recovering. That's alright. I died oh, a couple times on this hit. dude too. So, yeah, so. A lot of the boss characters, when you first start fighting them, like you'll deflect their their um, attacks, and then like the posture will still be real. It'll recover super quickly. So in order to get that to stay, like so the posture builds up, you just have to deal damage to them. So the lower their health gets, the more that the posture damage can build up, and it will stay built up. Um, so if you start fighting a boss and you're kind of getting frustrated by the posture damage not building up, then you just gotta deal more damage to them, because after a certain point you can just continuously deflect attacks and not even attack them and still achieve a death blow. And then, um... What else? There's another one I was gonna see. Oh yeah, if you hold down R1 when you attack, you can do a thrust if you want. It's a little, okay. yeah, it's a little bit of a charge-up attack, but it's a different type of uh, attack if you want to do a thrust. It does a little bit more damage. Kind of closes the distance a little bit. Yeah, you already got the. I think you already got the like the gist of it. Because the parry window is a little bit bigger, maybe than in some other games, like some of the Souls games. Anyway, the parry window is a little bit bigger. <clears throat> Still pretty precise, but like it's a lot le or a lot less um, finicky than like a Dark Souls or a Demon Souls even. That's really great there. You gotta, and you can still dodge and do all the typical stuff. There it is. So hard, part of the game, like, you might have an easier go with these beginning couple of bosses just because, like, I I don't think I understood the mechanics until a little bit into it. So, like, you're doing a, a great job against this dude. See? Easy. Easy peasy. Yeah, not too bad. I just had to get the rhythm. <clears throat> This game really, really pushes for parrying. So, like, even if it's if you, even if you're fighting an enemy, you don't think you can parry, just try parrying. <laughs> That's really like a big component of the game. They really want you to understand like how how to do the parry moves. So, never underestimate that. So that guy's easy. Fish full of ash. Ash, ash. So basically, what it is is like. It stuns them if you throw them at, it throw that at an enemy. Okay. Like it'll stun them and then allow you to hit, allow you to hit them. Oh, there you go. What were you saying to me? I don't remember. Something about we had oh, throwing throwing ash. Oh yeah. You're saying like, uh, oh yeah, you can throw ash in someone's face. If you face throw ash at people, asshole. then they get stunned and you can hit them. That dog stops squeaking a fucking toy. <laughs> Fuck you, toy. And I'm gonna fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking fuck that. Fucking I want them to fuck. do that in like a in like a drama movie. Like he burps in the middle of a sentence and just keeps going. 
<laughs> and I'm gonna fucking cut that motherfucker's eyes out <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> oh, is it East Drive Time? Do you know the secret passage? Is there a passcode? Oh, oh she's gonna come back in with that enzyme, no. Yeah, probably. Here she comes. Nope, not okay. Look at this little hobbit over here. There he is. Get him! <laughs> gross. <laughs> Absolutely gross. He's like fat faced from that Xenoclash game. I do not like him. <laughs> That's why you killed him, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't even think the fucking the little boy told you what to do, but you're doing it right now, so don't worry. You have to go over to this secret passage and then use a reed or something like that to signal him or something. Damn. Yeah, right down there. Whoa. <laughs> you can see where you went. Yeah, that's that ledge right there. There you go. There's a door to the right. Right there. That's where you gotta go. Vishnu. I don't think there's anything else here. I wouldn't really worry about it. This appears to be a scarecrow called the divine era. No! Yes. What was that noise? Did everybody hear that whistle? He got How'd very you get quickly. Yeah. <laughs> you should have been the shinobi. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Breaks the cycle. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he lands directly on his knee and his knee's just all fucking mangled. <laughs> ah! Babysitter, Jesus. What are you talking about? We're just getting out of here. Fuck you. <laughs> Don't think about it so much. Where shall we go once we're Your mom's house. Go to Denny's. <laughs> Turns on Denny's is his mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Denny's. Also, um,. Uh, the air or the fucking queen, whatever. Whatever. Bitch. Kids don't get a discount. <laughs> Bitch face. <laughs> no kid discount. Yep. Oh. All right. I would have liked it if you later, jumped up and then you just crammed your fucking head on the ceiling and you're dead. I'm going around at the speed of sound. You're like the Super Mario Awesome, where he's like, why the fuck did I just do that? Am I going to fight this guy? Yeah. Or am I going to kiss this guy? Yeah. You're going to do both of those things. You watch me when I face this guy. Ah, my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my fucking ankle. Oh, dude, Billy, I was going to put on the smell of my nuts, dude. Put it on, dude. I'm going to. Give me a second. I'm sanitizing my hands. It's probably a bad idea. I'm going to use a layer after I just sanitize my hands. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No, I got a barbecue later. Fuck you. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> and I do it and then just... Whoa. Leave this to me. I'm going to bread his butter, if you know what I mean. I'm going to butter his bread. <laughs> if he is bread in the blood is his butter. Oh! I will rape him. I'm sorry, what? Huh? What was that one? What was that part? I'm gonna smell my nuts. You're gonna love my nuts. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna smell my nuts. You're gonna love my thoughts. Oh, dude, that does. Do you like banana bread, Billy? I do. Did I win? Did you die? No, I just got my arm cut off. It's fine. Oh. Well, you know what? Def Leppard's drummer has one arm and yeah. he's doing fine. Yeah, he's doing great. Fuck it, man. Just like that wrecked pussy. You know, I watched a video um, where somebody actually beat him. Beat that guy and like nothing is different. 
No. He still gets his iron cut There's off. no, there's like no... No uh, special loot or... No, nothing. That's bullshit. Come on, FromSoft, that's your thing. I think the one thing that happens is like, he's like, you bastard! And then dude throws a ninja star at you and then you get your arm cut off. <laughs> so it's basically the exact same thing. Yeah, real useful. It's kind of kind of disappointing, actually. I would have beat him. Because I think like they reward you in the other games like you actually get something mm-hmm. for it, but... Whatever. Yeah, you always get a small amount of stuff to help you at the start of the game when uh, when you beat people like that. But yeah, apparently not always. Look at my enormous foot! Oh my, your your leg is gross. Look at my enormous face. I think it's a normal size face. Why is he all gray on the one side? Because Taylor, I told you. Yeah, but that's not fucking real. Because he has amnesia and he, he forgot that he actually just burned his face a bit. Do you think? Or he, it's probably like, you know, I rub ash into my my face because I'm checkered past out and fucking know, man. Do you think that this character and like this world is based on actual Japanese folklore? No. How would you have control over that? You wouldn't. I know. Yeah, he's got. F- Full, yeah. m- like, motion of his hand. Oh, gross! Must oh, be, dude, he, gross! It must be, like, uh, connected to his nerves or something. Which, um... I don't think they had the technology to do that. Because we don't even have that technology. At least that much. Should know. They're getting there, though. No, they're getting yeah, there. Yeah, we're getting there. You can. There's people who have, like, robot limbs that can actually control them. Maybe not to the degree that is in this game, but still... And then again, he would have fit with him. Mechanism modified. Bear's number cuts. Thick blood. Oil. Impeccable maintained. Hey, dog. Why you, uh, why do you got so many of these statues? It's too many. Because he's the sculptor. What's this? What? What true? I don't remember my memory. Shit. Yeah, that kind of shit. You know. So, can I buy it? See so, ya. Uh, I'm not even gonna talk to you. Fuck you. Well, there's an item out there. Sweet. Yeah, let me see. No, I can't. I want it. I'll be right back. I like how he's got all that, like, paper on it. Yeah. Uh, on, this, on this temple. Spiritual right? paper. Yeah. Light coin. Oh! So the, the general idea in this game is uh, when you die, you're, you get two... There's two forms of currency that you get. You get the sen, which is that. Like, it's actual just gold money that you can go and buy stuff with, which... Early on in the game has no use because there's no shops, but um, <clears throat> you also get XP that you get that will lo- help you get skill points that you can use to unlock new abilities. Mm-hmm. And when you die in this game, both of those values get halved. So stockpile the coin purses because they're like the souls where you can oh, consume, crush them, them, and, consume okay. them. So I would say only use those when like when you need to because you can farm up money pretty decently in this game after a certain point anyway. Why not? He's ugly. Yes, he is. You know, you know this game is different than a Souls game because his mouth is actually moving. Not, not the greatest, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, who fucking dies? Who fucking dies? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls off his mask, Jensen. <laughs> and Jensen. Adam Jensen. Ugh, are they making a new one of those? Do sex? Uh, they barely made another one. It's, yeah. It was bad. Mankind Divided. 
That game wasn't bad. It was just the first game again. <laughs> I played it. I think I got it on sale, and it was like, yeah, it's just the same. It's the first game all over again. Yeah, but it's bad. Bad. Yeah, it's bad. Why? What's bad about it? It's got microtransactions in it. Oh, I played and beat the whole game. I didn't see them once. Well, it's probably because you didn't look for them. I didn't. <laughs> they I didn't even know that game had microtransactions. Yeah, it did. Don't fucking tell No, me. I'm, I want to talk about the... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I want to talk about the Divine Air's blood, dude. <laughs> Okay. All so, right. Well, next time on Chins Chap Chats, we gotta get to the Ashina Castle and get our car washed. Bye. Time to the car wash.